pick a kind of a one or a two is neither here nor there. I mean, I'm kind of this morning before coming on the show. I'm feeling a kind of healthy sense of anticipation. I, you know, it seems anticipation, yeah. not anxiety. Yeah, I mean, but but when it's down at a one or a two, okay. how, you know, what what's the difference? So for me, it's like. And by the way, if it's a one or a two, even if it is fear, why not call it anticipation? Because that sounds better, and your mind goes, oh yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is anticipation. That's right. cool. Yes, that's great. That's I'm a excited. good thing. And in fact, within the within the nervous system, the the difference between um, fear and excitement is a very tiny shift. In terms of, if you ask people, um, if you ask a hundred people, if they say, "Where do you experience fear?" They'll they'll point to somewhere around here. If you say physically, where is the fear right. in your body? They're, they won't, they're not going to point to their toe. They're going right. to they're going to point here someplace. Uh, if you say, "Where do you experience excitement?" It'll typically be only a tiny difference away. So they're actually very very close to one another. And we want to tap into the excitement. Um, and we want to, if it's a if it's a low level, just asking the question. Some, someone will say, "Well, I'm still experiencing fear at a, at a two out of ten." We might say. Just check it out. Could that be excitement and anticipation? And very often they'll go, well, yes, actually, it could be. And see, then all of a sudden me, we've made a shift. Excuse me for interrupting. Are you saying it's all about how, it's like, you're making it sound as if a lot of this is about self-talk, the conversation you're having with yourself. Sure. I mean, there's, there's, there's two, I mean, our approach is, is it's kind of two, it's two tiered, a double whammy, if you like. We want to teach people consciously how to take more responsibility for how they feel, okay? And then some of the processes we have are to make more permanent unconscious shift, okay, other than conscious shift, subconscious shift. So the thing you talked about before, like shifting the pattern. What so if someone, is, if someone is regularly experiencing inappropriate fear, they're doing it at the same time every way. Someone who has fear of flying doesn't think up new bad stuff to think about every time. They're, they're running the same, and most people, not everybody, but most people are running movies in their mind, some combination of movies in the mind and self and self-talk, all right? So someone, they might be sitting on the plane going, oh my God, we're all going to die. Oh my God, we're all going to die. Oh my God, we're all going to die. Well, you know what? If you or I sat on the plane saying that, saying that to ourselves, we'd feel pretty bad too, okay? <laughs> but for someone who's doing it, and we're, we're kind of chuckling because that, we don't experience yeah, yeah. That. Uh, that, that. That's their thing. But that's their thing. So it's hilarious. But, but, but when it happens to you, it's not funny at all. Um, and they will be getting, depending on the degree, they can be getting a full-on fear response that's absolutely How terrifying they turn for them. Um, just to finish, they can be doing self-talk or they can be running movies in their mind. So they can be seeing themselves dying in a crash, they can be seeing the wings falling off, they can be seeing all those kinds of things. Right? No one's frightened, someone is frightened of spiders. They're not frightened of a little spider walking across the room. They're frightened of it becoming the size of the room and gobbling you up. Yeah. All right? And this is, the, this is what's going on inside, inside people's minds. Um, so, to, so we're always running the same pattern. It's like, we describe it, it's like a DVD. Every time you, every time you anyone who has kids will know this. Every time they put the, say, the Shrek DVD in, the same stuff happens every time. You know, it's like the same stuff, the same damn songs over and over again. When someone has a phobia, they will typically, typically be running the same DVD over and over again in the mind. And what we have to do is to take the DVD out and put a big old scratch across the surface like that. Welcome back. We are speaking with Seymour Segnet. He is the founder of the Phobia Institute. Let's pick this up real, real fast. Our, our director, Jeff, wants to know why some people are just afraid of everything. And then we'll go back to the other topic. Uh, anyone who's watching this who believes they're afraid of everything, um, why don't you grab a pen and paper and start writing down all the things that you're afraid of? Uh, there's a little task. You can do that while we're speaking. Go ahead. Uh, what we'll find is that the list will contain 10 items, or 5 items, or 7, or 9, or maybe 20. But they will not continue writing forever because they're not afraid of the carpet. Right. They're not afraid of the ceiling. They're not afraid of the walls. They're not afraid of uh, the neighbor's dog uh, 10 doors down. Saying that someone's afraid of everything is a, um, it's a, it's using the language in a way that's very, very disabling. Okay, because it's creating a reality that's not true. No one is afraid of absolutely everything. Some people are afraid of a lot more stuff than is helpful for them. Right. But it's never everything. It's always a defined list of things. And if you watch it, they'll say, well, I'm, I'm worried that I might lose my job. Uh, I'm worried uh, about my third child uh, not doing very well at school. Uh, I'm concerned that I may lose money in that stock deal. But it's a, it's a, it's a defined list. And once we have the list, we can, we can take out the But Seymour, do they have to take them one at a time? The, we, we have a process called timeline therapy. Yeah, let's um, talk about timeline therapy. Then we're going to go back to pattern. You want to do pattern interrupt first, though? We're well, all over the place That here. is a pattern interrupt. So why don't we... Well, timeline what? therapy is a pattern interrupt? <laughs> no, no, no. What you just did is a pattern interrupt because we were setting off down, we were setting off down one, 
I was about to go into talking about timeline therapy, right. which is something I do often, by the way, and I right. usually say the same stuff about it. So I have a, a pattern for talking about that. And you interrupted it by saying, should we go off in this direction? Is that good or bad? Well, it, it's, it's fine. Pattern, in, pattern interrupts, I, I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably survive <laughs> it. Um, pattern interrupts are, it's the scratch on the DVD. Yeah. So if someone is running the movies in their mind of the plane going down or whatever it is. Or I'm in the meeting, I fall apart, I start sweating, I lose my job, I'm out of here, and then I can't pay my mortgage okay. and I go out on the street. That's the movie. Okay, that's, that's, um, that's the movie, and, and, uh, and it, you're running it before the event, okay? The thing to do is to do whatever it takes to, to change as quickly as possible, okay, your focus and your physiology. Can I, is it okay if I stand up? To yeah, because I was just going to ask you about, I'm going to stand up too because yeah. I'm on the DVD. Okay. You actually say, Greg, you got me? I know you're sitting there saying, I can't believe these guys just stood up. Okay. Um, you actually say on the DVD, get up, and you actually stay, you raise your voice, I've heard you say that, yep. start singing, start stretching a little bit. Sure. What so, does that have to well, do with anything? Let's, let's, let's set it up. Sit down for a second okay. and show me. You, you, mentioned you, kinda, that you, were, you mentioned that you were feeling a little bit fearful before, in a going, on, before going on air. Yeah, I was a kind of closed in. Right. Everything show was all around me. In fact, show me specifically how you did it. I, I was sitting there. Eye, close your eyes. Don't, I don't want to hear about, I don't want a story about the past. I want you to get right back. So float back down, like into your, we say float back down into your body the way you were then. Sit the way you were sitting when you were feeling the fear. See the things you saw, hear the things you heard, and feel the feelings of fear. Okay. Now, if Steve accurately reproduces what he was doing then, and most people are able to do this, he will start to feel some of the fear, some of the fear return. Okay. Now, this is a slightly unusual context in the studio, but usually, if you if you rerun exactly the same movie now, see the things you saw, hear the things you heard, and feel the feelings. Okay. Now you notice a little bit of the fear coming back, probably. Okay. Stop. Jump up. Okay. Now, as as I clap my hands just then, you may have noticed a little jolt from Steve, because he got a little bit, a little bit right. of a shock. What happened in that moment... Now, we, heart palpitation. That, <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> that, was a, that was a very... Because normally you would, do this, you would do this for yourself, okay? So um, I actually am in it. Instead of making believe I'm in it or trying to go back there, when you're in I'm it, actually in it. What you want to do is to, is to quickly jolt your nervous system in a good way. So you'll quickly go... <sighs> Okay, so you'll radically change your, your physiology. Put my shoulder, okay. you put your shoulders back your instead shoulders of back like this. And imagine something that is outrageous and fun and you can't help goofing off. So if it's guys, uh, we always recommend imagining naked women dancing around the world. I'm so far, I'm with you, go uh, ahead. If it's, uh, <laughs> if it's, Greg, Greg, you if, with me? If it's, uh, <laughs> we got naked women. Uh, uh, first of all, so the anxiety is there about performing. Now all of a sudden there are naked women in my head. Go ahead. Yeah, and you're feeling great. I'm feeling great. Absolutely. Now this, this sounds, um, it sounds kind of cute to be talking about it like this but the important thing is is uh, first of all you're changing the feelings right now because by the way we've used up some of the time before the meeting or whatever with with good feelings going on instead but each time you do this if you do it quickly enough and sharply enough you're putting a scratch on the DVD that's my scratch and eventually and, eventually and then what happens play. once I go back to sit down in the studio or the meeting am I in a different place now well what happens a better is, place? is that the is that once the DVD is finally and completely scratched you won't run the pattern anymore